dimly lit diner, the clanging of forks and spoons mingled with the soft drone of a jukebox. As the customers slurped their coffee and chewed their toast, in one corner, a solitary figure sat, his eyes fixed on the plate in front of him. His name was Jack, and he had a secret. As he pushed his food around his plate, Jack couldn't help but feel a sense of dread creeping over him. He had always known that his past would catch up with him someday, but he had hoped that it wouldn't be so soon. It had been a long time since he had seen her, but he knew she would come. The woman in the red dress. Suddenly, the door to the diner swung open with a bang, and a gust of wind blew in. Jack looked up to see the woman in red dress standing in the doorway her hair whipping around her face. She looked just as he remembered her, tall, with a figure that could make a man weak in the knees. She strode towards him, her high heels clicking on the linoleum floor. Jack's heart pounded in his chest as she took a seat opposite to him. He couldn't believe it. After all these years, she had found him. She looked at him with a cold, steely gaze, and Jack knew that he was in trouble. Hello, Jack, she said, her voice as smooth as silk. Long time no see. 
Jack swallowed hard, his throat dry. He knew that he had to play it cool, or else she would see right through him. What brings you here, he asked, his voice barely above a whisper. The woman in the red dress smiled, a sly, knowing smile. You know I am here, said she. I've come to collect what's owed to me. Jack's mind raced as he tried to think of a way out. He knew that he couldn't give her what she wanted, but he also knew that he couldn't run from her forever. He had to face his past no matter how painful it might be. As he looked into the woman's eyes, he saw something there that he hadn't noticed before. A glimmer of vulnerability, a hint of sadness. For a moment, he thought he saw a flicker of recognition as she knew the pain that he had been through. Suddenly, the jukebox sputtered to life and a haunting melody filled the diner. The woman in the red dress stood up, her eyes never leaving Jack's. Until next time, Jack, said she. And with the swirl of her dress, she was gone. As the music played on, Jack sat there in silence, lost in thought. He knew that he had a long road ahead of him and that he would have to confront his demons if he ever hoped to find peace. But for now, he was content to sit in the diner, listening to the music and pondering the mysteries of the universe. In that moment, he felt a sense of calm, as if he had finally found a sanctuary from the chaos of the world. And so, in the stillness of the diner, Jack made a decision. He would face his past head on, no matter the cost, for he knew that only by confronting his fears could he ever hope to move forward and find the redemption that he so desperately sought.
Thank <laughs> you.